BAM! iPod Touch. That's what I'll be reviewing today. This is the box that came in. And this right here, this is the iPod itself. Microfiber, get one of these. I'll be doing a review on that later. Alright, let's go in. So, yep, this right here, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You can also plug in a microphone and do voice memos and other recordings. This, the USB slot. You charge and sync this to your computer and iTunes. On this side, rocker bar up down. This side, there's a big old nothing. Right here, the sleep wake button slash power button. Right here, the black thing, the antenna for Wi-Fi. We thought there was going to be a camera on it, but there wasn't, sadly. The back here is Chrome, the iPod, Apple sign, and the iPod Word, and this down here, you can't see it. Yeah, that's aluminum, and this whole screen is glass. There's a light sensor right here. You can't see it, but it's there. This is the home button. The 3.2 inch high-res capacitive touchscreen is awesome. And that's about it for the hardware. Let's go in. Alright, and here you can set up your mail. Set up your mail at the beginning, it gives you a whole bunch of options to set up your mail. Alright, yeah. Set up your mail. Mailboxes and inbox, draft, sent, trash, and bulk mail. I'm using Yahoo Mail right now. Alright, for some reason, tell you this right now the YouTube, it will not, it will not go. Every time I hit YouTube, it says cannot connect to YouTube, and I don't know why. I'm connected to Wi-Fi via Wi-Fi and everything. It just well, it won't connect. It does this all the time, and I wish someone would tell me that tell me why. Here, show you this quick thing about the calculator. Hold it in portrait mode, regular calculator. Turn it landscape, doubles into a scientific calculator. Very awesome. All right. So, in the settings here, you can go into general and it's had a whole it has, it has a lot of things you can do in general like set wallpaper sounds network bluetooth the local service audio, audio lock passcode restrictions i don't have any restrictions by the way keyboard date and time home you can reset the you can reset everything on here if you're like gonna sell it or something yeah in the about well that's the stuff and then the legal tender yeah this is on there Probably don't care too much about it. But yeah, it's there. Just in case. So, like I said, yeah, you can do all this. And it's, and it's awesome. Auto lock. for I got set for one minute. Or you can set it all the way to five. Or just never auto locks. Alright, the app store. I'm going to launch that real quick. While we're waiting for it to load up, there are... A ton of apps in the App Store. The biggest one in the world. Alright, so it's just acting. It's just doing whatever it wants to on camera. So, I can't connect. So, yeah, the stocks are here. See that? You you click one. Then you rotate it, and it would go. But, yeah, it's the, for some reason, the Wi-Fi is not connected right now. Which is very unfortunate. So, yeah, iTunes here. See if we can uh, connect back. See if we can reconnect. Alright, trying to reconnect here so I can show you. Alright, here we go. Now we're rolling. Let's go back into the App Store. The App Store is filled with apps. The biggest App Store in the world. Second is Android though. They're on a roll. You can search the App Store in several ways. Here. This is featured. It's in the new, what's hot, and then genius. Genius based on the apps you already have. Or you can search in categories. There are a ton of categories. Games, entertainment, utilities, social networking, music, productivity, lifestyle, reference, travel, sports, navigation, health, news, photographs, education, weather, education, weather, books, medication. There's a ton of stuff. You can search in top 25 as well. For top paid, top free, and top grossing. If you have an app you want to, I mean, an app in mind that you already know, you can go to search. 
And for updates, if you have apps that uh, need to be updated, they'll be right here and you can update them all at the same time. Here, the 3.2 inch screen looks awesome. And just by showing you that, I'll show you a, 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 a short clip from Friday. But yeah, that just shows you. This camera uh, made it somewhat blurry, but it's pretty good. And let's go into iTunes real quick before we have to end the video. iTunes now, with this version of the iPod Touch, you can go to iTunes and download it on from your iPod. Then when you get back to your computer, to your desktop, it recognizes it. New And the music, new releases, top tens, and genres. The music here, the video, search, podcast, and under more are audiobooks, iTunes, you, and downloads. And the, with the videos, you can preview a movie. Like for here, here's Hot Tub Time Machine Unrated. Awesome movie, by the way. As it load, When it loads up, after it loads up all the way, you can hit preview, this little button right here. You can preview the movie. Yeah. The reason it keeps skipping because I didn't let it load up all the way. I just showed you how you can preview. But yeah, you know the deal. You can let it load up all the way. With your contacts. If you have something like a Facebook app or whatever. You can, you know, sync the phone number from your Facebook app, which is right here. Onto. Into your contacts. And so, yeah. That's about it for this video. I will be doing a case review. Here here's the case. Silicone case. Silicone case. I'll just put it I'll put it on for you real quick. Silicone. It's a snug fit, real easy to put on. And really easy to take off. And just like that, it's on, you see? Doing a I'll do a review on that. I'll do a review on the microfiber. And I will do a app I'll do an app review app review right here of all these apps all right so see you next time on tetracolor 98